Hello. Today we are looking at how to install Sonic Classic 2 on a Chromebook. Please take note that you need a very powerful Intel or AMD CPU inside of your Chromebook. Otherwise, it will be laggy. Firstly, we will change two settings on our Chromebook to improve the performance of the game. To do this we will go to these pages and enable the changes. The links are in the video description. Now we will reboot our Chromebook. Now we will turn on Linux apps. To do this we will go to our system settings and click on the advanced section on the left panel. Now we click on the developer section. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system, we will continue to the next part of the installation process, which is to download the game. While it is downloading, we will continue to the next step, which is to run several commands in a terminal that will install Wine. Wine is an application that allows us to install some Windows applications on a Chromebook. All the commands are in the video description. Now we will copy the first command and open a terminal session from our app menu. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Ctrl, Shift and V together. This command will enable 32-bit architecture for Wine on your system. Press Enter. Now we will download the Wine security key with the next command. Now we will add the security key to our system. Now we will add the wine repository to our system. Now we will update the system repositories of our Linux apps. Now we will install Wine.
Press Enter to confirm the installation. As you can see the game is downloaded. Now we will open it in our file manager. Move it to your Linux files. Wine is now installed. Now we need to install three additional packages which Wine requires. Click on Install to confirm the installation. Click on Install to confirm the installation. Click on Install to confirm the installation. Now we will unzip the game. To launch the game, run the last command every time in a Linux terminal and everything should work as expected. Let's do it now.
Enjoy!